Eine Fotowand, Ladies and Gentlemen. Welcome to the Little Fuji Fair. My name is Paul. By the way, my name is Paul. My name is also Paul. Nice your, to meet you, Paul. His name is also Paul. That's yes. very cool. Uh, we are here on a Little Fuji Fair in Berlin. And we are here with Paul and Paul talking about the new Atomos Ultra. Because you know me, I use the Atomos Shinobi. I talked about it a lot. It's a great tool, great, great monitor. And this is also the new recorder. Right. We have brought brand new products. Um, especially what you can see here or on the camera is the new Ninja. It comes in two different um, versions. You mm -hmm. have the Ninja and Ninja Ultra. Basically the difference is the new Ninja recorders, they have the Atomos OS 11, the new firmware, mm -hmm. um, um, the new operating system and they deliver many more um, things yeah. so they can basically record up to 8k progress raw so that's basically pretty cool if you want to do some like really professional mm. shooting and want to crop into the picture really um, can you really can, strong. can you explain for for my viewers because i'm a professional videographer by myself i work yeah. this full time but okay. many people don't know what this recorder can do is it then for 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 my simple explanation You put an HDMI cable from your camera in the Ultra and then you can record basically magically in 6K, 8K, 4K. Yeah, it depends. So you get the signal from the camera, from the sensor. Yeah. So it's like um, directly the, the, uh, the signal from the sensor and mm -hmm. then I can um, record different codecs, mm -hmm. whatever I like to work with and whatever yeah. I do in post-production, mm -hmm. uh, what so kind of software I use. Yeah. So that depends. I can record ProRes, H.265, ProRes ah, yeah. RAW, it depends what kind of video I want to make yeah. and what progress I do with post-production. Mm. So you're really free and have many different options. But basically, of course, it depends which kind of camera you use. Mm. If it's um, uh, ProRes RAW, uh, mm. if, um, able to do it, yeah. so then you need to take the signal from the camera and then yeah. it's possible to record. What kind of Uh, cameras are capable to deliver this is basically almost every camera can you purchase like the new Fuji XV100 and then plug a monitor on it and then you can record progress with it yeah basically it's that simple because cool. each camera with a HDMI output works so That's it doesn't cool. really matter if you're a photographer and you're only taking photos yeah. but you want to have a big monitor to make like use monitoring tools for, yeah, yeah. for uh, sharpness for color for mm. a white balance You, you, you use it as a monitor. Yeah. If you have a video camera, you want mm -hmm. to do external recording, you use the Ninja. Yeah. So you have endless uh, possibilities. Yeah. And basically all you need is a camera with a HDMI output. That's, that's very handy. That's also, I talk about this a lot because when you have the, the best codec, yeah. your editing software works best. Imagine when you, when you film with a normal consumer camera or yeah. like GoPro or yeah. phone or whatever, mm -hmm. your editing software stutters. You can have yeah. the top-notch PC right. and your editing software mm -hmm. crumbles down because of this, because of this cheap codec. And yeah. with the ProRes codec, mm -hmm. I worked with the, Pro, with the ProRes codec actually on a, on a very cheap laptop once and it worked. Yeah. It worked just fine. It runs so smooth. Yeah. High data rate means mm -hmm. nice codec. And How much, how much is the data rate in, in, in this monitor? You need a fast SSD, obviously. Yeah, right. The SSD, it comes on the uh, back of the monitor. You use, or we um, recommend the Angelbird SSDs yeah. because they work perfectly together. So mm -hmm. they have the best uh, uh, reading uh, speed. So mm -hmm. it works quite well. So that's what we um, recommend. Yeah. It goes up to four terabytes. So you have lots of storage. Mm -hmm. What you need if you go like 8K progress raw recording. Exactly. Of course, you need that. and. Uh, Yeah, you can uh, go up to 8K, or if you say, I, for me, it's enough to record in mm -hmm. uh, 4K, 30P, for example. Yeah. So you're it's quite, uh, you can do a lot of things with this. Is this 8K feature new in this monitor, or what? What can this monitor and recorder do better than the yeah. previous version? Yeah, I can tell you that because the the main difference is you have the brand new OS 11 so that yeah. means it's a whole new operating system the mm -hmm. look is different then um, the 8K ProRes RAW recording mm -hmm. function it is not new um, the V plus could also do that True. but 
you have one thing which is really uh, useful. It is called uh, dual record. Mm -hmm. That means you can uh, push the record button and record two completely different codecs, for example, H.265 and Bores. That's so, handy. Yeah, you can take one for social media, which is quite compressed. You use the other one for post-production, that's, that's a handy feature, yes. or if the client wants to have also a little version of right. it. Because usually when I when I work with clients, some, sometimes they want also the footage. But right. I tell them all the time, mm -hmm. Do you want really 6K blah 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 yeah. footage in this yeah. and this codec? I, I speak then magic to yeah. them. They don't mm -hmm. understand anything. Right. So Most big companies have no idea about this. And right. when you have both options in a recorder, that's very handy, actually. That's, that's perfect. So you, are, you can take one file and send it to the customer directly, yeah. and he can use his VLC player and check it out. Yeah, that's And you the thing. use your ProS file um, because it doesn't have to look. Uh, you want to give yeah. the customer a look, a preview look, so yeah. you just take the... So that's a, a, a big change in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You have um, different options like record assist. You can uh, time the record, so you can grab a coffee and time the record when the wedding For real? starts. That yeah. was the feature yeah. I was talking about yeah. recently. You it can works. time, you can say I want to record the next 20 minutes only. Right. You can also um, time that's, the, the... That's the, the nice the, feature the, I was talking about that Maybe last right. week. Yeah, Adam and that I want such a right. feature. Right, and Adam That's really crazy. looks what does the customer want, and uh, if the customer writes yeah. a comment in YouTube, it could be that this will be made. I, I wrote actually such a comment, and maybe because maybe I wrote yours. this com <laughs> comment, yeah. now it's this. No. Um, that yeah. It's, po it's, it's possible. If there are many customers that have like yeah. this wish, Adamus is uh, looking for um, the, the wishes from their customers. So that's that's yeah. a handy feature. That's a, that's a really handy feature. What's yeah. What's what's the price from the from the new Ultra and the new on the new Ninja? Yeah, the Ninja. I know that it's not called Ninja now. It's now oh, nin, it's, it's called Ninja, Ninja Ultra. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's Ninja Ninja Ultra Shogun Shogun Ultra. So yeah. you have it's it's simple basically. Yeah. You uh, go from 600 euro mm -hmm. for the uh, Ninja, mm -hmm. and the um, Ninja Ultra is about 780 euro. Yeah, that's reasonable. So. That's, right. that's always the thing I, I say to my viewers when you want to invest in a better camera, yeah. maybe invest before that in a better right. better monitor or in a better recorder yes. that you can improve your all your, your setup. Yeah. And with this, you then have basically a new, better camera if yeah. you so want. It's, it's, a, it's an upgrade and if you buy a camera for 20k, I think it is okay to spend like 600 yeah, euros sure, on, sure. on a monitor. That's one of the first things I would yeah. purchase all and, the time. And I'm have, so happy with mine. You have so many options, you can do even more. There's like a module you can put on back of it. It's called the Connect module. Mm -hmm. So you can go streaming directly from... Indeed, I saw this. You can even stream then on a, on a, on a big screen. For example, you can yes. even stream it uh, to Frame.io. It's yes. the Adobe Cloud. So I am here making a video. My um, cutter is sitting in Munich and he can, yeah. he can start cutting while I'm filming so that's for real yes it's the connect module you buy it put it on back of the ninja and you're done do you have it with you no um, I do not have it with me but I have a flyer for you so that's what it looks like mm -hmm. it also fits for the ninja 5 so the previous model now yeah. just put it on connect it to a Wi-Fi and you can go twitch live streaming YouTube live that's, streaming that's really handy. you just need a smartphone hotspot yeah, that's, that's also really handy when you're in a work environment. Some of these features Atomos delivers are actually so useful when you work in a professional environment. Also, when you do YouTube or something, a bigger screen is always good. Even when you start with only the Shinobi, it, right. makes, it makes your work just better. Yeah, right. Even for photography, if you go like... Um macro photography Indeed. and you want to have the perfect sharpness it makes yep. sense to have a bigger screen That's if you're outdoor you want to see the picture yep. so you don't have any um, uh, surprises when uh, making post-production yes i love for instance the false color feature yep. in my yep. in my shinobi yep, that's we, the best thing literally i can i can judge the colors the skin tones when yep. you then understand the false color management yep. how you to work with it it makes your image just better. Right. Also, all, all the features in it. You have the, also the zebras and etc. That's very yeah. handy. That's the basic features, and all of the monitors have this kind of features. And uh, you also have a new um, Ari false color mode. So you have two different false color options now with the new Ninja. You have uh -huh. false color and Ari false color. So you have two different yeah. scales. So ah. which you like better, you can use it. I, so. I actually never worked with an Ari camera yet. 
I definitely want. I thought about renting an Arri yeah. camera for a client project. Yeah. This client will then be very, very happy. Yeah. But yeah, that's the that's the camera that is not in my equipment. Yeah. In yet. Th <laughs> in this case, you use a Fuji camera, for example. You put the Ninja on top, but you can you can use Arri Force color option. So yeah. it's uh, integrated in the Ninja. You don't need an uh, Arri camera. Nah, and many people uh, like this false color. So. Maybe it's an option for yeah, that, something. That's a very handy feature. Thank yeah. you very much, Paul. Yeah, I'm wa you're welcome. Thank you very much for showing us this. So, thank you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> One quick addition. Tell me what this giant piece of monitor is and what's the advantage of it. Right. So, in your hands you have the uh, new Shigun Ultra. Yeah. Basically, this is a 7-inch monitor and it combines all the functions basically from all the other monitors in one. Yeah. So you have the recording function, you have STI in and out, yeah. of course you have HDMI as well. Mm -hmm. You can um, use it via, uh, via network. Ah. You also have like the Bluetooth RF antenna, so you can do like um, time code via yeah. Bluetooth sync. That's handy. So that works and of course on top the two um, antennas you can uh, mount. Stream. You can do the streaming. To an external right. device. Right. Yeah, like streaming with the Ninja, YouTube, Twitch, yeah, yeah. Uh, Frame.io. It's basically all That's in one product. And you have SDI in and out. That's handy. Right. For professional video uh, shooters, yeah. it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's that's this. That's also a thing. What? How much yeah. is this, please? Um, it's about um, eleven hundred euro. So. That's, that's, and you and it can also record all the features, like the Ninja Ultra, like. Right. Pro as raw, etc. Right. It's basically this uh, part of recording. It's the same in both devices. So That's if you nice. have two different devices on one film set uh, in post production, you can work really good because it's the same codecs. That would um, be a that would be a device for me because I yeah. when I work on set, some ask, "Do you have SDI out?" And I always say, "No, I don't have SDI out." Here blah, you blah, have blah. it. So yeah, that's yeah. that's handy. So and in and out. So it's like the whole, yeah. you know, the whole loop. Thank you very much, that's a nice feature. You're welcome. So, that war jetzt. Kann ich mir mein Mikrofon wieder mitnehmen? Natürlich. I have absolutely no idea what this is. If you have any idea what this is, then write it in the comments. Yeah, hello, zusammen, erstmal. I'm not singing here, are right? When the night has come. Du, 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 du. And the land is dark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's already recording. Damn it. It's, all, it's already recording all okay. the time. So uh, we didn't say hi. My name is Paul. Nice to meet you. My name is Michael. Michael, nice to meet you. Um, we just spoke about this little nice cool light. That's yeah. a small rig 60 watts light. Yeah. Last week I talked about the big 300 but Foxa, NAND light, light, which is also very handy, but this is more handy when you're on the way. Can you tell us a little yeah. bit about meter? Yeah, what sure. So, like you said before, that's a 60 watts uh, powered light. Yeah. Um, it's a bicolor, so you can change the, um, the temperature of the color from like 2500 Kelvin to 6500, yes. um, so it's great to adjust the color temperature. And yeah. You have an internal battery which allows you to run it for around about one hour and a half, something like that. And um, it's in a small size. It's, um, the, the goal is to, uh, to get content creators to have their whole equipment with them without uh, getting... Without, they, they have all they have the old equipment yeah, and the camera in, bag for just, just in a bag. Yeah, just, just we were talking so, about yeah. the little Löwe Pro 400, 450 bag Yeah, something. for example like that. It's, it's so a great, it's a great run, addition for, for, for yeah. content creation on the go. Yeah, so you can put actually one row with two or three of them and you're, you have a whole setup with exact, you. Exactly. 
when then you have so, on the go a three point professional lighting yeah. situation. So left, right, and a hair light from the back, for example, yeah. um, or for a video shoot when you're doing something like um, low light yeah. or a close up portrait shoot, that's more or than even enough. For music videos, I had this last week when mm -hmm. we were shooting a music video, I had the big four yeah. and we didn't even use it because it was too big. Nobody and it's too strong. Wanted to use the big light, you have to set it up with a giant expensive tripod yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is in your bag. And yeah. even when it's when you have slow light situation, this saves the day. Definitely. There's one thing I um, my colleague Kai showed me that. Mm -hmm. There's a mount which you can uh, put on the bottom um, when you're doing some content creating with your mobile phone, for example. Yeah. So um, just give me a second. Wow, now you have that. Wow. And then you can do some video shoot with that. That's ultra handy. So. Sorry. <laughs> That's handy. But you then have. Yeah, you well, record you if you're doing some. Like this then, for instance, because for it's some, strong magnet, yeah. I hope. I hope. But it depends on the um, situation. Yeah. That's like the thing. Yeah. Without a gimbal. <laughs> that's the thing when you interview someone. That's mm. that's handy. Yeah. Um, it has an internal one, but you can either use a power bank or you have a V-mount battery, or yeah. in German we call it Anton Bauer, for example. That's the company. That, that, that's the old name for that, but it's nowadays um, we use the term V-mount. Yes, that's true. And um, yeah, you can just charge it with that or um, drive it with that directly on a on a price. full charge. On a full charge, um, you have um, uh, a runtime of one hour and 30 minutes, around about that. Um, you will see the lasting time on the display, so it's easy to see. Um, the charging time for that depends on the, on the adapter and on the charging cable. Um, around about three hours, two to three hours, okay, it takes a little bit. But if you have one, so for example, the Apple um, adapter with 140 watts, it should take that uh, to quite uh, quickly. The regular um, version of this at the small rig site costs around about 150 euros currently, so it's quite a good price. If you get, for, if you get the kit version with additional um, accessories, it will go up to like 220 to 250 roundabout. But that's a good price for because Definitely. Especially definitely. 60 watts, portable, handy. Yeah. Not everything has to be ginormous in these yeah. days. Everything becomes smaller. Why not also that? Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much. That's one schön video. I hope you like my little YouTube video here. I try to make. No, I don't try. I make a little uh, after movie from this little Fuji fair here. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea about Fuji. I know they make APS-C and medium format cameras. And I'll show you here even some pictures I did with the 100 megapixel uh, Fuji GFX camera, the version 2. They are over there in the booth. You can try them. I put an SD card in it. And yeah, we have 100 megapixel pictures here. <laughs> I just received a little gift from this nice dude over there. He gave me this here. That's my little gift from Small Rig. Shout out to Small Rig. That's a very nice piece of fabric that protects your stuff and that's that's very handy. Thank you very much. You know I'm I'm kind of the model by myself and Chun is today uh, my photographer and he will take some nice model pictures for me. Of course, yeah. Do, do I have to undress now? Um, maybe. Yeah. Okay, maybe. We, Not the t-shirt, but the... We will see this. But your boxer shorts. Okay, maybe. nice. Then we do this here, in, in, in front of the crowd. Then especially, I wear only then my YouTube shirt and then I have... Well, 100,000 subscribers tomorrow. That's <laughs> what we call art. It's not nudity. <laughs> Komm, wir gucken mal alle böse. Okay, okay. Jetzt ein auf Model. Genau, ja? Model. Keine Ach, Falten später. Model. Okay. Genau, Model, Modelblick, keine Falten später. Easy. I have, I have absolutely still no idea about Fuji. I know they make a lot of APS-C cameras and medium format cameras, which is totally crazy for me. But that was actually my first photography-centric fair. It was so cool to see some people I know from YouTube. I uh, have experienced a little photo fair. That's actually quite cool. And I will not be in, in the future a Fuji guy, but I can always say 
the gear doesn't matter if you know what you do. You can also work with Fuji, the same work I do. You can make this with Sony, Canon, Fuji, whatever. But one thing is crazy that Fuji has these large format, medium format, 100 megapixel things. That's impressive. Thank you for watching this little video. See you in the next video. And thank you. Subscribe also to Chunsen's YouTube channel. He was my cameraman today. He helped me a lot in this video. Subscribe to his channel and his Instagram. You see it here. See you in the next video.